What are we looking for? Dogs. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bird. You know, we back on Bird's Eye View with it. Like always, appreciate the love and support. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Stop what you're doing. Smash the like button. Smash subscribe button. Hop in the comment section. Comment whatever you want. Of course, I'm dropping daily bangers day by day. You know, we got news of the day coming out of Colorado. And of course, we're going to jump right into it. We got King Joseph Edwards. He's a four-star athlete, defensive end slash tight end, 6'5", 240 out of Houston, Georgia. He's in that 2024 class. He's a top 20 edge rusher in the country, top 30 overall player in the state of georgia he's a top 215 national player he's a legit game changer on both sides of the ball like i said some see him as a pass rusher some see him as a tight end has great size frame and abilities he will continue to add mass at the next level has great initial bursts off the line of scrimmage has a really good dip and bend ability that causes issues for opposing offensive tackles i mean he's a legit athlete this kid can really play tight end if he wanted to of course we made a video on him about a couple weeks ago well, he has officially been phoned by Steve Wolf Fong. He's been crystal balled. And the saying is, once you're phoned, it's pretty much a wrap in that player's recruiting. Uh, over 4,400 crystal ball predictions for Steve Wolf Fong, and 92% of those come true. As you see, he said Colorado are underdogs. He really loves this Colorado football program. As you see, he has us in his top three, Florida State, Colorado, and Ole Miss. We weren't even in his top eight. Now we're in his top three. I think there's a really, really strong possibility that we will land this young man. He will be in Boulder this weekend along with a few other four stars. This is a massive pickup, but we can get him coming out of the state of Georgia. We can keep this train rolling with LeMason Waller. Of course, he's a four-star wide receiver, 6'2", a buck 70 out of Hesperia, California. He's in a 2025 class. He's a top 30 wide receiver in the country, top 25 overall player in the state of California. He's a top 240 national player. This is a two-way standout that thrives at wide receiver, has great size and abilities, uses his hands really well. He's tough to tackle in space, creates a lot of yak yardage. He makes tough catches in traffic as well. Well, could really be a red zone mismatch at the next level will continue to mature physically had a phenomenal sophomore campaign 64 receptions 1057 yards 15 touchdowns also added 40 tackles and two interceptions on defense as well he's a three-time max prep all-america i mean has over 40 offers bama georgia florida state michigan notre dame oregon Penn State, Oklahoma, just to name a few. Of course, he was a crystal ball to Colorado as well. I made a video on that last week uh, where he received another crystal ball prediction yesterday as well. He will also be in Boulder this weekend. Of course, we're going to have to re-up that wide receiver group coming in 2025. You know, of course, we'll have Aaron Butler, Amarion Miller, Tavares Dawson to still be there. Of course, you know, we're going to lose out on Jimmy Horn, Travis, Xavier Weaver, Javon Antonio. Those guys are expected to be gone by 2025. So that wide receiver room is going to have to re-up and this will be a great addition here with a mason waller again he's a four star coming out of california of course by then uh you know we'll have antoine hill as well being the signal caller uh so it could be a great one two punch there without question uh we have some visitors that are going to be on campus shout out to matt h at skull buffs 22 on twitter he's been interacting with these young men a lot He's the one that dropped this list here. We have four of them. Nasir Johnson, he's a four-star defensive lineman. He's in the 2024 class. Haven't made a video on him, but I will get to it. Of course, four-star King Joseph Edwards, the defensive end, 2024 class as well. LeMason himself, 2025. And then, of course, four-star linebacker Elijah Melendez. Uh, he's in that 2025 class as well. I made a video on him also. So we're going to see exactly what transpire. If we can land all these guys, it'll be a massive pickup. So now I can keep it long. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what time it is, though. Birds have you, man.